Hey, what's happening with y'all, man? This is Light Up Your Morning with Black Flame. Today we got us a special guest in the building. You feel me? We got Miss Kiki with Tree. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, okay. okay. Let the people know a little bit about you. Who you are? Where you from? You know? I am from San Francisco. My name is Kiki with Tree. I'm a musical artist. Um, the type of genre of music I do, I like to call it R&B rapper. I sing, I rap, I do it all. Okay. Model, act, I write books, I write music, I do it all. Okay, 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 do all of everything, okay? You know, I just heard, I just recently heard a new version of the saying, you know, they used to say, a jack of all trades is a master of none. But come to find out there's more to that. It says that a jack of all trades is a master of none, but still, it's still a, it's still better than a master of one. Because if you can do all these different things, you don't necessarily have to master them all. You know what I mean? There's other ways that you can still expand using those other talents by not trying to just focus on one thing. Right. You know what I mean? Doing doing multiple things, I've always been an advocate of. I do it myself. I try to make sure that everything I do has some kind of different facet to it, different ways to to implement it in something else that may not seem like it has something to do with it, but it do. Right. You know I mean, it, to be honest, the way things are nowadays, you can tie in everything together. Right. You know what I mean, life is so interconnected with everything. You can just tie everything together. But that kind of brings us to the topic. Now, what I've noticed, and it's something, the reason this topic is even something I wanted to talk about is because I was having a conversation with an individual, and we were talking about how songs have gotten so much shorter nowadays. Mm -hmm. Like literally five years ago, from 20, from 2013 to 2018, the top the top hit songs on the top on the Billboard Hot 100 were between three minutes and 50 seconds. Now, the top 15 songs are averaging at two minutes 30 seconds. So it's like. That's a big difference. You basically just cut off a whole verse. Yeah. You just, you just killed the possibility of a whole feature. Right, right, right. You just knocked the whole feature off. So, what I'm thinking is a lot of ways that affects society too. Because you look at everything now, everything is fast. Yes, it is. Everything is fast. Oh, we want it quick. We want this. You want the short version of this class. You want to get this license with this short online class instead of going sit in the classroom. You want to... You want to learn how to do this on, online. Everything online, but it's short. Right. But the streaming platforms, as far as when we, when we speak about it, as far as, as far as music, the streaming platforms are partly to blame. Seventy percent of the revenue in music for the last ten years have been taken by Spotify and Apple Music. Yeah. Facts. Like that's crazy when you think about it, because they're the reason why a lot of people want things to be shorter. Right. Because they give you such quick access to so much. You want to listen to everything so you can't listen to all of it. You know the people that sit in your car and, and flip through your stations? Make you want to choke their ass. <laughs> <laughs> right? Make you want to choke their ass out. The touch of the damn radio. Right no. <laughs> <Pick> the channel. <laughs> or the people that'll watch five minutes of a show and then the next thing they want to change the channel. Man, that's the that's the outcome of these shortening attention spans. Like, yeah, I wish. Yo, you remember that thing on um, Fast and Furious 2? That thing the police would shoot out the helicopter and shut your engine down? <laughs> I swear to God, I wish I had one of them right now. I hate y'all. I hate motorcycles right now. <laughs> you feel me? We all location though, so that's the shit that happens. Hey, it's good. But yeah, I hate motorcycles right now. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> But nah, so tell us a little bit more about what you got going on as far as your music right now. What's, 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 what's new that you just dropped? What you got coming that's new that ain't dropped yet? What's going on? Actually, my next show is February 4th, and I'm opening for Ad Capone. Okay, that's so, the same show. Totally insane. <laughs> so yeah, that's the same show we got together. Oh, yeah, fact, yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I'm out there too, you know. Yeah, yeah, you want to tour come too, through, then. come <laughs> through, come through, and act up. Yeah, no, I just, to be honest, I like the fact that you said that because I just did the same thing. I just came back. I went on tour. I hit, uh, I hit Miami, New Orleans, Dallas, and Houston. Oh, okay. You know, I went around, running around a little bit, but I set my own tour up myself too. Right. So, 
somebody else that know how stressful that shit is. <laughs> like, yo, people think it's easy. It's really not. This shit ain't easy. <laughs> and actually, I am working on my second album. So for the February 4th show, I might do a song from the second album that nobody ever heard yet. Okay, so okay. Like surprise them with a little something new exclusive. Yeah, okay, okay. That's movies, what's up. acting, so a little bit of acting this year. Okay, yeah. okay. That's what's up, that's what's up. Well, look, man, you seen it first right here, live on Wake Up Your Mornings. No, I said that wrong. Light, Light up your mornings. <laughs> your black flame, we'll be right back. <laughs> We'll wake up your mornings. Yeah, we're going to wake your morning up. You're going to light your morning up. All right, we're going to do both. Our mission is bringing the stage to the world. At On Stage Plus, we offer stage performers a platform to grow their audience using streaming TV and original programming. We help you partner with brands to monetize your content, forming positive brand relationships with businesses with similar fan bases. We help showcase those with inspiring and educational content on our center stage. Let us help your fans get in the room and feel part of the action. Contact us today. Hey! Well, this is Light Up Your Mornings with Black Flame. We back. We're going to get into this drip check segment, you feel me? You know, every week we got to we gotta show some new drip, you feel me? So look, we got Nikki. Come on over here, let me see, let me see. We got Nikki with the Fireborn Appeal Unbothered line on, you feel me? Nice. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> don't be lying and she can be on TV. <laughs> what you think about this sweater? You know what I mean? Give, give, give a review, you know what I mean? The quality, the fabric, the design. The quality, you know? it's good. I like the fabric. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, never mind. Okay. Go ahead. The quality is great. I love the fact that the sleeves are long enough because I am a tall girl, 6'1", you know. So I like the design everything. I'm not a smoker, but I, I represent people who do, you know, smoke and stuff like that. Um, I like the length that it's, it's short, you know, like crop top. It's great. I love it. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. What you think? What you think? I love it. I love the, the, the artwork on there, you know, representing smokers. It's a sister on there. That's what I really like about it. Right. And I like the fact that it's cropped up. Right. And I like the the hoodie part. It's like um, looks like it could be versatile. Like it's is it reversible? Yeah. No, it's uh, not reversible. I, w I was trying to get reversible when I actually ordered those, and that was the closest thing to it. So that's why I ended up yeah, picking up with just, the different like color the way on the inside. I like the gray on the inside of the, the right. hoodie, and the way right. she has it, it it's like complements the whole sweater. So it's I like it, and it's soft. Right, right. It's soft. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. Right. Right. Like, yeah, it's soft. Hey, it's, really? it's, 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 that's what's up. That's what's that's, up. That's 100% cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton. Yeah. All, five cotton. Pearl, all five Born Apparel products, 100% cotton. Some made in the U.S., some made in Europe. It depends on it depends on where you order from, to be honest. We got fulfillment centers in Europe and in the United States, so that way you got fast shipping. You ain't got to worry about it. Take it forever. We ain't Alibaba. It's not Wish. You know, you're not oh gonna order, you're not gonna order it in January and get it in June. You order it in January, it's gonna come. Well, January finna be over, so don't expect in January right now. But you order it in February, it's gonna come in February. You feel me? Fireborn Apparel, man, that's what it is. So look, this is the drip check segment. We're gonna be right back. We're gonna have one last one for the road for y'all. Our mission is bringing the stage to the world. At On Stage Plus, we offer stage performers a platform to grow their audience using streaming TV and original programming. We help you partner with brands to monetize your content forming positive brand relationships with businesses with similar fan bases. We help showcase those with inspiring and educational content on our center stage. Let us help your fans get in the room and feel part of the action. Contact us today. Hey, this is Light Up Your Morning with Black Flame. We back, man. We got look. Every episode, I'm going to leave y'all with something, something to ride with, you feel me, something to roll with. So, the last one for the road, we got Bullshit by Kiki Latrice. Now, don't be on Bullshit, you feel me, don't be on Bullshit, watch the video. <laughs> yeah. So look, tell them about it. I mean, let them know what they're gonna be looking after. Um, it's a it's a video. It's cool. I mean, the graphics are cool. Um, did it around San Francisco. I'm okay. rapping. I'm talking about bullshit. I'm talking about people like 
that be bullshit, especially in the music industry. Don't have me come to your studio and record no music if you're not about to do nothing with it. That be that bullshit. So that's what this is about, okay? Straight up. For so real. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. <laughs> We're going to get into that right now. Bullshit kicking the trees. Let's go.